Welcome back, everyone. Today's show is all about some of our favorites. We've got some more favorite recipes coming up. But uh, Julie Sizemore is one of our favorites. Good to see Good you. Good to see you. Uh, reciprocated with the favorite. Hey, you know, this was really hard for me. I have a lot of favorites. And with baking. I see. <laughs> every, you know, with baking, everything has to be a lot more um, exact, mm -hmm. you know, than, than with cooking. So a lot of my favorites that I bought are, are actually tools for accuracy. Okay. So, um, but I'm going to first point out my very favorite. This is great. Yes, because uh, this was a pan that was exclusive to me, you know, for the Super Bowl. And um, we have made so many really fun things in this. So it's 20 bucks. Uh, you can bake a cake in it and look like a rock star and it looks like a helmet. But there's so many other things that you can do with it. Um, so what else? Yeah, you can make, uh, you can put water in here and freeze it and make ice and put your shrimp and your veggie dip and all that stuff on top of it for your, you know, your table. And the G and everything comes out perfect. Oh. All, it just comes out really easy. Mm -hmm. yep, you can very neat. mold Rice Krispies in it. Fun. So this this is definitely one of the favorites in the store right now, especially since you know we're undefeated. And you'll, you'll use it over and over again, sure. which is really yep. nice. People come in and say, "Oh, are you sure you can bake in that?" Oh, trust me. <laughs> um, and then uh, right now, because we're getting into um, a lot of the you know baking season, um, I'm I love my dough board. My dough board is um, for rolling out your cookies. You put your dough in the middle. It adjusts to four different thicknesses. You take the side off with these little bolts here and then it comes with the dowel as the rolling pin. Put your cookie dough in the middle, roll the dowel over it and all your cookies are the same thickness. And you can just cut right on the board? And you, and you just take your cookie cutter and go along and cut it out. I love that. Um, then if you don't want to get in, if you don't do that much baking and you don't want to get into that, these are cookie slats. You lay them alongside of your dough, roll your own rolling pin pin over it and it, it comes in three different thicknesses. Same thing helps you keep all your cookies for accurate baking. You know, then you don't have some that are unbaked and some that are burnt on the edges. Mm -hmm. So those are really handy. Um, everybody needs a nice big cookie spatula. This helps with moving your dough from your rolling, you know, area to your cookie sheets. Now that's a good point because um, and that's what it's six ninety nine. Okay, I need one of those. Because the same spatula that you use for flipping burgers and and doing cooking things is, is not the same spatula when it comes to baking. Right, right. In that, you know, you don't want to get the, um, you want to keep the clean, sharp, sharp edge. Sure. Um, uh, this is another one of my favorite tools. It's a mini silicone rolling pin. I primarily use it for rolled fondant, but it comes with little guides on the edges. Um, so if you roll something small, again, you roll it until it stops rolling, and then it has that perfect thickness as well. Um, we got these really fun texture mats. So if you're working with rolled fondant, and my favorite brand is Satin Ice, okay. and this is the buttercream flavor. Now, for people who don't know what fondant is, that's when you go to a wedding, you see this gorgeous cake, and it's completely smooth, the frosting. Um, that's what that is. It's what you know makes those cakes look like a million bucks. You can work with it yourself. You sell it in the tubs. It's yep. easy. And um, and then if you roll it out, you can take these texture mats, roll over, and this one's shaped like a football. It's got all the little cool. balls in it. To, for the texture of the leather and then it comes with the cutter so then you just cut out over your fondant. Cool. So that's a really favorite uh, uh, um, tool of mine. Love it. Now, um, par parchment paper, mm -hmm. I never bake without it. I also like to use sill pads a lot if I'm mass producing and I have 22 co cookie sheets. So I don't have 22 sill pads. So um, parchment, I never bake without that. I love it too. Now when you get into cakes, again, you have to be a lot more accurate. These are bake even strips. What they do is if you don't have as heavy duty a bakeware, you soak these, wrap it around the outside of your pan, don't wring the water out. It keeps the edges of the pan cool. You bake from the outside in. You brought those on the show once, brownies. You know how the br brownie edges get? Those are perfect for that. We get a lot of questions on that. We're about out of time, but these are the cutest thing ever. The cupcake liners with fun, funky designs. Mm -hmm. Just a great, easy way to dress up your, your cupcakes. And what about this guy? Last um, but not least. Solid. Solid measuring cup. You put your peanut butter shortening, other things that you would normally have to dig out of a measuring cup, push it up, eject it, and that's it. Love it. Love it. Oh, lots of favorites. For more, I uh, see Creative Cake Supplies, always offering classes and things like that. That's another uh, favorite. Lots yes. of classes. I know. I'll have to come take <laughs> one sometime. Thanks so much, Julie. You're welcome.